All righty. I have a really big construction update for you guys today. So we were at the park for Perkopolis and lo and behold, like I said, construction is supposed to start Monday on our new coaster and the signs have appeared. So on top of having equipment inside the mountain ready to go, there are column markings around the mountain. Um, and they're really interesting, the sequence of numbers. So it definitely shows a path of the coaster. Um, but I want to talk to you guys about something. So if you've been paying attention, I talked about a certain video that I filmed on my drone that I didn't want to showcase. And I told you guys that the coaster was going to come out of the Guardian, underneath the Guardian lift hill area where the washrooms or entrance to the haunted house is and head towards extreme sky flyer so to back up those claims are these markings that i'm about to present to you so i'm going to show you guys everything we saw and then we're going to go into detail on a map of the map that i made of all the column markings so far so as you exit that um underneath guardians lift hill you're going to see these markings the first set is 159 a and b so here is 159 A and B. Um, that is the first set of markings that we see or the furthest number of markings that we see. So I want you to remember these numbers. So then we have a column set of three columns, 157 A, B, and C. Um, this is just out front of the entrance to Guardian on the opposite side as you enter the International Showplace Theater. Those fill... 1.20 and different numbers that you are seeing are the drill bit um, sizes or the depth. Um, so I don't know in detail yet. I am waiting on uh, confirmation from someone that works in construction what those fill numbers could be. But as you can see here, I'm trying to sh oh, show an over generalization of the markings so far. They then vanish. So we looked everywhere to the best of our ability. I will continue to look. Um, everywhere for any sort of set of sequence and we couldn't find it but they continue again in the pizza pizza um, outdoor seating area so you'll see that in a second but I want to talk to you guys about is Guardian is still down it is not operational it's not uh, open but the lockers have been removed and um, what I want to talk about too is um, something they're doing to Thunder Run that might point towards something else as well. So Thunder Run is having what looks like an, a, a construction fence going up, but it's not for the coaster. My assumption is that they're going to build a um, kind of like an area supervisor office up there, an extended one, and they're going to remove the one in the Guardian area because they might connect the exits of Guardian and this new coaster if the entrance and exit, the station is in the mountain. That's just an assumption of mine. That would explain why Guardian is still down, why they're working on Thunder Run right in the station area, and why the lockers have been removed from Guardian. Uh, it's showing signs that Guardian may not have any potential or um, idea to open this season. But again, take that information with a grain of salt, as I don't have any confirmation from the park if Guardian's going to open or not. There's been a lot of work going on with it, so I could see it totally opening. Here in the Pizza Pizza patio, we have column 136. Um, so that's another marking. So what I wanted to talk about is we go from column 157 at the entrance to Guardian to column 136 in Pizza Pizza's patio. Now, what that tells me is there's a lot of missing columns, which means there could be some turn elements and some sort of like uh, kind of interaction elements going on before we get into the Pizza Pizza area. So here they continue. We have more markings heading out towards Extreme Sky Flyer. Now, if you remember, I did tell you guys that there was some sort of weird turn that comes out of the mountain, and then it does a straightaway towards Extreme Sky Flyer, and my prediction is it's going to do some sort of grand element at the front gate area, and that's why Extreme Sky Flyer was removed. Um, it is starting to look that way, so fingers crossed. Um, that this is what I am forecasting because this looks like a really exciting coaster. And for those of you that are still paying attention, I am predicting an Intamin. Now, I might be able to have more concrete information very shortly, early next week, about the manufacturer. So here we have another column um, right near the end of the patio for Pizza Pizza as it heads towards Extreme Sky Flyer. And then I'll tell you, the markings disappear. So we have no further continuation. Obviously, there's going to be more as they work throughout the week. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Things are starting. Again, I told you guys construction would start Monday and it's looking like that's the case. So this is just me looking for any further markings and I don't see any signs of them. So very excited to see how this construction project plays out. Um, I will say um, that the bolts on the area where the coaster might be coming out of on Guardian are marked for removal. Um, again, I don't know if that is has anything to do with the coaster. They have been there since Winterfest last year. Um, but typically it, it could mean that column needs to get removed uh, like they did with Vortex to make way for constructing this new coaster. So that could be uh, a, an outcome of those markings on those support columns. Um, but again, that is a, a, a reach. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, and then I just wanted to go over that we do have the pre- installation of some sort of footings in the Elpen area. So we know the coaster is gonna go from extreme over to Elpen, passing through the mountain one or two times, depending on what it does. I will say it is showing signs that what I saw and what I know about the coaster re-entering the mountain and coming out underneath Guardian's Lift Hill is definitely looking a lot more plausible um, with some backing behind it. But again, we'll have to wait and see. Um, Tiny Tom's is coming along nicely, but here is that construction fence in Thunder Run's area that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so we'll have to see what this turns out to be as well. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Um, can't wait to film more for you guys. Things are really going to start progressing real quickly now. Anyways, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.